Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder and the key cause of rheumatoid arthritis is an autoantibody. And these autoantibodies can harm our joints and they can be getting deposited into these joints of our limbs, especially our hands. But rheumatoid arthritis is not limited to these joints. It can also affect other organs such as lungs and the heart. So according to WHO report, this is the statistics of death occurring from rheumatoid arthritis in 2012. Now the cases of rheumatoid arthritis is increasing day by day. And this is the data for last three decades. So what is rheumatoid arthritis? So if you look at a person which is having a rheumatoid arthritis, look at his finger. It is kind of swollen, distorted and the joints are kind of swollen. So if we look at the cellular details, we would see why these joints are inflamed. So imagine that we are doing an x-ray and we are able to see it. So what would happen is these joints are getting inflamed in rheumatoid arthritis and what is the cause of this inflammation in order to understand that we have to understand the basic immunology behind it right what is the actual cause the actual cause is an autoantibody but before understanding about autoantibody let me tell you that we have circulatory IgG antibodies which are against many pathogens for example there is a virus invasion these IgG antibodies would try to opsonize the virus and neutralize the virus. So these are good for our body, the circulatory antibodies. But in rare occasions, there could be antibodies against these antibody. So antibody against this antibody could be harmed. So you can see this IgM antibody is determining or detecting the FC region of these IgG. As a result, it is forming an immune complex. And it can lead to immune complex mediated type 3 hypersensitivity response. If you don't know what is type 3 hypersensitivity response, you can click on the link in the i button. This would lead you to a detailed video on that. But coming back to this picture, let's see what are the immune responses happening. So these complexes, these antibody complexes would be now getting deposited into these joints. So let's look at, look at a joint in bit more details. So if you see the joint of your fingers, you would see there is fibrous capsule. Inside that, there would be synovial membrane and there is a synovial cavity which is filled up with synovial fluid. And this ensures that there is a smooth, frictionless movement of our joints. So in case of rheumatoid arthritis, these, antigen, these antibody complexes or these immune complexes are deposited near the synovial membrane. And these immune complexes are able to fix complement. So the uh, synoviocytes which are lining the synovial membrane gets heavily affected by these uh, immune complexes. And that leads to complement fixation and thereby lysis of the cell via complement fixation response. Now other than that, these cells can attract other cell types such as macrophages, dendritic cells, because these cells are phag phagocytotic, right? They would try to engulf and clear up these things, but they are now attractive. Once they engulf these things, these dendritic cell and macrophages are activated and they secrete several cytokines. And most of these cytokines are inflammatory ones, such as IL-1, IL-6 or TNF-alpha. Along with these, there are other cell types which join them such as T helper 1 type cells and it increases the inflammation and makes the situation even worse. So this is a normal situation in the left hand side where you can see the rheumatoid arthritis situation on the right hand side. You can see many things are totally uh, wrong in case of rheumatoid arthritis. The synovial membrane is damaged and there is a thickening of these membrane and there is quite a lot of overall inflammation that has been there. Now let's talk about what else happened. So these macrophages which were activated can now secrete inflammatory cytokines 
Many of these inflammatory cytokines turns out to activate osteoclast activity and thereby it triggers bone erosion and it's making the joints more rigid, hard and less flexible. So this is detrimental for a person, right? The mobility of the joint is gone due to these kind of inflammatory response and enhanced osteoblast, osteoclast activity. And overall, there is an inflammation sensation that is persisting. Rheumatoid arthritis increases like your risk of developing several other associated symptoms such as many medications which are used to treat rheumatoid arthritis or the way rheumatoid arthritis occurs, the immune response that leads to triggering of the osteoporosis. So it makes the bone more perforated, more sponge-like and weaker. Then there is a symptom which is known as rheumatoid nodules. These are kind of like bumps in especially in the pressure points such as elbows or let's say in the ankles. So these are due to these, these are actually rheumatoid nodules which are painful actually. Then there is increased chance of developing carpal tunnel symptom, which is numbness of specific area in the um, hand, in the palm. Now there could be increased risk of lung disease and heart disease, which are uh, harmful manifestations of rheumatoid arthritis. Now there are several factors which increase the risk of rheumatoid arthritis, such as the gender related issues. It has been seen Females are more susceptible to develop rheumatoid arthritis compared to male. Family history is another issue. Rheumatoid arthritis is not totally sporadic. There could be genetic reasons to it. Smoking, environmental issues and obesity are also considered to be the important risk factors. So treatment options are there but there is no absolute treatment. There is no complete cure. So medications like NSAID and corticosteroids could be helpful to reduce the inflammation but they don't help in the long run. So they just improve the situation minutely. There is no long term cure available till now but people are trying to develop immunotherapies which would be more efficient than these ones. So in summary we have looked at what is rheumatoid arthritis, what is the immunological responses happening in rheumatoid arthritis, risk factor associated with rheumatoid arthritis and the treatment option. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment how you like my videos and please support me in Patreon. And if you like my videos and if you like my courses, you can access my full-fledged courses on immunology and many other topics in Unacademy, which is India's biggest learning platform. Using my code AP10, you can get a 10% discount. So hurry up. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening.